Hi everybody, on this webcast of Total OS today, I want to uh, test, compare, and uh, grade Lucid Links Ubuntu 10.04 versus Windows 7. Now, um, I've been meaning to do this ever since last month when Lucid Links first came out, but I ran into a bit of a snag. Uh, I downloaded the ISO from Ubuntu's website burned it on a CD, installed it as a dual boot on this particular machine next to Windows 7. The installation process went just fine. Everything seemed to be okay until uh, one night I wanted to watch a movie with my son and my computer froze up like a popsicle in Alaska. I had to reboot into Windows and continue watching the movie from that point. Needless to say, I wasn't too happy. But that left me with a problem. How do I fairly test and compare Lucid Links versus Windows 7? Well, a month later, I am going to compare the two operating systems this way, and hopefully, my machine will not freeze up again like a Dairy Queen ice cream cone. So I have Lucid Links installed in a virtual machine next to Windows 7 as you see here. So how are we going to grade this? Well, like this. We will be taking a look at this criteria. Installation, updates, look and feel, performance, media player, security, out of the box, ready to go, intangible such as the trust and the brand name. Okay, here we go. Installation. Well, like I said, I did not have any issues installing Lucid Links and I did not have any issues installing Windows 7. Both were pretty easy, pretty quick to install. Uh, Lucid Links was a little bit faster, but overall the installation process on both was okay. So I will call the installation process on both operating systems a tie, so we're just going to give that a zero, meaning nobody scores a point. As far as the updates go, um, I do recall with Windows 7 there really weren't that many updates after installation. Just a few drivers here and there and I was actually surprised how quickly the operating system installed. With Lucid Links, um, as you can see here at the bottom, there are 203 updates, a total of 192.7 megabytes. Now this really really surprised me last month for a brand new operating system to have this many updates um, as far as this goes that's way too many updates so in the updates column I will put 7 because Windows 7 had fewer updates compared to Lucid Links alright next up is the look and feel of both operating systems. Now, for this particular test, I have the arrow effects um, turned off, or the transparency effects, however you want to call it, turned off in Windows 7. Of course, now you know you can have uh, transparency effects or special effects or desktop effects, however you want to call it. Also, you can have that in Lucid Link. So, I am going to rate that a tie, so I will just put a zero there. Performance. Um, well, what can I say? The first time I installed, I installed it and tried to play a movie, my Ubuntu crashed. Um, so I can only go by the previous OS of Ubuntu, which is Karmic Koala which I do have installed as a dual boot on this particular machine and Ubuntu Karmic Koala runs absolutely perfect 
Of course, with Windows, it runs absolutely perfect too. So, that is a tie. Give that a zero. File system. Of course, those of you who are familiar with Windows XP or Windows 7, pretty easy to use. Um, you know, you have your menu ball here. Tap that and you can go to your files here, documents, and so on, and pictures. Uh, as far as Ubuntu goes, um, I don't know. I kind of like this a little better. Um, not that it necessarily is better than Windows, but I kind of like how this looks. I've, I've always liked the file system in Ubuntu, so for this particular grade, um, I'm going to give the edge to Ubuntu. So for that, I am putting a U for Ubuntu. Now, media player. Um, Rhythm box in Ubuntu looks just fine. I know now they have integrated the uh, Ubuntu Music uh, Center, which allows you to uh, search and buy music online, uh, something similar to iTunes. Uh, but that being said, um, I have yet to find a Linux media player that is as complete, robust, or as stable as a Windows media player. Now, that is not to say that I really, really like uh, the the default uh, media player in Windows 7. It works fine. It looks fine, but um, it's not my favorite. Actually, uh, the media player, the previous media player, which I believe is media player 11, that's actually my favorite media player right now and probably Jet Audio runs a close second but that being said I have yet uh, have not been able to find a comparable Linux media player that is uh, complete and stable so that being said um, for this I am going to have to give the edge to Windows 7 um, scrolling down here to security nothing needs to be said uh, Windows 7 or any Windows if you have a firewall and a very good antivirus anti-spyware you're fine but that is not required in Ubuntu or in any Linux so the advantage there goes to Ubuntu alright ready to go out of the box well I thought Lucid Lynx was ready to go out of the box until it froze up so the edge with this goes to Windows 7. The last thing here is intangibles, trust, and brand name. Um, this is a tough one. Um, intangibles such as, you know, look and feel, the name, uh, who do you trust, or which operating system do you trust to work immediately out of the box. Um, which one is less buggy, which one requires less updates. Since I had problems with Lucid Links, the edge for this one goes to Windows 7. So if you were to look at the score here, we have one, two, three, four marks for Windows 7, one, two marks or two points for Lucid Links. Um, I don't know, to be honest, if a month later Lucid Links is any better, much better, or the same. Uh, quite frankly, at this point, I really don't care. Um, Windows 7 for me from the beginning has been perfect, so right now I am sticking with that, although I do like for those of you who watch my videos, I do like Linux Mint 8 and Linux Mint 9. For some reason, um, Linux Mint 9 has been less buggy than Lucid Lynx. Um, I'm not really sure why, but that being said, if I had to pick my number one operating system, 
Uh, and this is, of course, assuming that you do not have a computer that was given to you by Fred Flintstone. If I had to pick my number one operating system right now, it would have to be this Microsoft Windows 7. This particular operating system was done right as compared to Windows Vista, which was a joke. But anyway, there you have it. In this particular shootout of Ubuntu Lucid Lynx versus Windows 7. Windows 7 wins this battle. Anyway, thank you for watching this edition of Total OS.